dude. It's just that shit's so annoying. Just Chris Well no, his Bull account just... is actually iron three. I looked it up, it's just nothing but losses. I guess I'll jungle. You can go mid, I don't give a shit. I'm going top. I'll play Teemo. Alright. I'm trying to get you fed then, bro. I guess. I'm trying to get mid lane fed is just, I guess, it's just asking too much, bro. I'm doing something, something completely wrong, man. I guess. No, I don't know, dude. Ever since I hate gold promos, it's just been rough. The, like the game has just been like honestly it hasn't been fun like it, ha it just hasn't been fun the lobbies have been lame the comps have been shit people have I've been building their champions like shit I had a fucking what's the I had a Mordekaiser build what is it he didn't have a mythic he built something um he built uh, Anathem, um, Anathema's chains is what he built first. <laughs> mm -hmm. Didn't work. <laughs> it did not work. Filled with fucking weirdos, man. It's like whenever I say I hate this game, it's like the game is fine. The game is gonna do what the game does. Yeah, it has its bugs and it has its fucking shit that I don't always agree with. But the game is gonna do what the game does, man. It's just fucking community, bro. It's just like. Can't stand it, dude. Can't stand it. It's definitely just kind of... Depending on the people that you get, depend on... Whether you have a good time or hate your day. something about AP Malphite jungle being broken. I have no idea, honestly. I don't know how the clear would be. You don't plan on playing Mord? Nah. <laughs> Fuck, I forgot to ban luck. <laughs> And bronze lobbies. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking low lives.
solid. Motherfucker's trying to lock in Senna. I hope someone uh, dodges, no. man. Fuck these motherfuckers. Pop isn't even ranked. What is our lobbies, bro? Why are our lobbies cancer? <laughs> yeah, I'm not ganking that bot lane. I'm not ganking against the next real blocks. <laughs> Push line fast. I can't push it
He's abusing all of her mana, just a heads up. She's out of mana. Yep. I should have rushed right back up top, man. Kill her again. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna back real quick. Yeah, I don't know where you're at, oh, your bot. I'm gonna say she's just abusing all of her mana again. how it goes bro whatever it is in these bronze silver lobbies whatever it is just don't gank for your bot lane bro you have two you have double the chances of running into someone fucking stupid bro your chances are increased of running into a complete fucking useless piece of shit dude you actually get to run into two of them Stupid fucking what you wanna call it? Poison field. Please stay, I will fucking kill you. An ally has 
been slain. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, what am I supposed to do now? There's no play for me! There's no fucking play for me now. Homeboy roamed whenever he didn't have Pryo. Feeds top. Top already has 71 CS, bro. It's, that's just game. Yeah, that's game. <laughs> it's game. I just have to a dude how you play low elo games you just afk from there's the only chance you get to even like to log in and to fucking play bro just afk farm there's no point in playing with these bots for fucking humans dude there's no point bro. i swear to god riot doesn't have enough players for their game dude these are like riot developers at work not working on their fucking game or they're fucking paid bots by Riot, dude. There's no way a human logs on to play like that. There's no fucking way that it's human, dude. No way. I'm moving as fast as I can. I just don't fucking believe it. I just cannot fucking believe it. Almost positive with Cassio as a smirk. Probably. So doing with somebody. Probably. She's coming into your jungle. Sucks. No, the game doesn't. When I say that, the game doesn't suck. It's, it's the fucking. How fucking long does that sweeper last for? God damn. Got her.
enemy double kill. Enemy rampage. Enemy killing spree. Shut down. Your turret has been destroyed. Fucking dumbass, bro. <laughs> He has no ult. No. Howard of a horse. Fuck you, horse. Watch her. Watch her. <laughs> I'll freeze that right there. Going. 
Pass is probably over that way, just a heads up. It's like I was just at Rift Herald. <laughs> what is this game right now? Killing spree. Fucking god damn it. An ally has been slain. I'm not sure where Arya's at. She wants that teeny timo dick. Teeny timo dick. <laughs> That fight turned around really bad. What's up, Whitley? Hey, y'all, appreciate it. Appreciate the good vibes. Thanks so much. <clears throat> Can't even have fun, dude. This first game of the day, and it was fucking cancer, bro. <laughs> Us feedback, yeah, your game is shit. Very unsatisfied. What's the most important change Riot can do? Reward players as eagerly as you punish them. I'll be right back. Okay. Price of skins is way too high. I get good value when I spend RP. No, my ice pricing for no. I get good value when I spend no. My early release is content I'm interested in buying. No, price of champions is reasonable. No, right is greedy compared to other great. Yes, tries to do his best for players. Uh, 
disagree takes action based on disagree disagree you don't know you're out of touch you're fucking out of touch riot you're fucking out of touch all right let's try to get you on a win streak let's go I probably spend more than twenty five. Twenty five hours each week? Yeah. I was gonna say you might spend twenty five hours in two days sometimes. No. I'm doing a fucking feedback survey for League of Legends. Don't fucking watch pros. Cool. Hopefully my message gets received. No, yeah, I just, just wrote them a brief, just a brief little evaluation. Tell them that they kind of, well, they owe the, the player base money for, for putting up with their fucking shit game, dude. So. Oh, shit. One sec. I did hear the munchkin wake up. You can only have the switch up there, just so you know. You only have the switch up there, is that okay? Hmm. 
Aspen. Is that okay? Or do you want to play? Come here, come talk to me. They are nothing before me. Do you want to play Mom's Zelda game? Or do you want to play Paw Patrol? The Zelda game? Okay. Okay, I'll be up there in a second to put it on for you, Kyle. Someone just dodged last second. Did I did I just see someone dodge last fucking second? <laughs> I'm so glad that happens all the time. How many dodge at the last second? Yep. Oh, I, all right. Get, well, give me a sec. I might as well go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. Fucking stupid. Yeah. <clears throat> Yo, Poet, what's up, man? Hey, dog. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate the like, bro. Thank you.
Ashley, baby girl, thank you so much for that advice. You're right. And I already did brush my teeth. I already did make the bed. I should light some incense. I had a banana and some coffee from breakfast. I just saw this shit. Someone used the master ball to capture a Pidgey. <laughs> Waiting for Justin to get back, and then we'll queue up and try to win, man. That shit was fucking so annoying, bro. You know what? I'm gonna play fucking. I'm gonna play at least in. Twitch, Draven, Cassadin, Jax, and many more champions are considered to be racists, pedos, and overall horrible people. They have cemented themselves as the worst of the worst, while many others don't have this reputation, even if they are racist in lore or have a toxic player base. But why so? And why these champions in particular? The first one, and probably the most famous reason, is the player base. Even if not regarding toxicity, a champion's image is often shifted corresponding with a famous streamer or generally the player base's actions. Scion players are considered to be goofy, Yasuo mains usually inting and complaining, and Hecarim mains... Uh, yeah. There have been many cases of famous one-trick ponies being notoriously racist or really liking kids, so after one or even several influential figures that play the champ develop the reputation of being toxic, it quickly translates to the champion itself. People like Tyler1 and Poran Starzillion definitely contributed to Draven's reputation. 
but he's a special case, so more on that later. Rata RL played a huge part in shaping Twitch's image, and Cartus mains that don't scroll Tinder really are a breed of their own. This is exactly what Jackson's considered a pedo, as every popular main of his is rumored to be one. Other than the famous Hanshinshin rumor, once about Steven's Yeah, maybe that dodge surfers, was worth it, because those bubble guys hit quick! Greece, <laughs> beat up his girlfriend on stream, and enjoyed playing with Annie a bit Fucking came downstairs and I was like, oh, public, <laughs> that's not right, oh! <laughs> as most Kassadin players are extremely racist, while champions like Nunu and Singed are often related to running it down. Furthermore, this is why people like Cookie Lolex and Darkwing Jax didn't scar the reputation of a certain champion, as they weren't dominantly playing Quan so much that the community connected them together. Luckily, many of the aforementioned have reformed, and mass toxicity looks to be controlled more and more. It's pretty wild how the game used to be, as there were whole teams and communities at the time bond around toxic players that endorsed fans to do the same in their own games. The second reason is the champion's gameplay. Going back to the perfect example of Draymond, one really can't play the champion without being at least angry. And let's not even get started on maining him, as that is borderline insanity. He's passive and the ult stacks just yearn for aggressive racism, while the other abilities just contribute to his aggressive playstyle. His reliance on kills makes the experience even more stressful, and the pursuit of securing every last one turns the early game into a make or break scenario. With Raven being so reliant on early resources, support stealing a minion, let alone a kill, can lead even the calmest Draven player to an outrage. Similar to that, Kartos' kid goes hand in hand with toxicity. The dead singer's passive gives him the ability of disrespecting an enemy by killing him after already dying himself. But this is a double-edged sword, as missing a Q, especially the finishing one, leaves a bad mark in all chat. Twitch's Q on the other hand allows him to sneak up on enemies and smash them as if they were a harmless Lulu. He can either sneak around your team and rain terror, or get caught trying to do so, which results in him raining terror in all chat. It's also worth noting that they some champions could be perceived me. as more toxic, because of features like high damage output, high movement speed, high skill ceiling, and probably the biggest one, huge snowball potential. But at the end of the day, it's up to the individual how much the gameplay triggers him, which is the complete opposite of the next point. With League having such an expensive floor, it's not strange that some characters end up liking kids more than others. In the past, Karma's design was updated to remove the bindy, while Tom Kench is theorized to be a predator due to his door and voice lines. Some might find Annie's skins a bit too much, while others deem Pike to be a bad representation of his associative identity disorder. There is also a lot of hate present between regions, as the Masians despise magic users, Ionians and Oxians see each other as subhuman, and other cases of champions insulting each other based on looks or nationality. In conclusion, Draven is by far the worst, he's the perfect example of all three categories. If you want to see me rank all the champions by how racist they are, click on it. So today we're going to be ranking all champions by how racist they are. Basically, here we've got five tiers. Super racist, then there's racist, slightly racist on the inside, then there's the not racist category, and then Trans there's the one that they're active against racism. This topic isn't yeah, really accurate by the lore, I apologize, but I don't watch a lot of Mac. Originally, I wanted to talk about the guys and stuff. I just dive into it. So Aatrox, fuck, I know, I'd say Aatrox is like a super racist guy. Ari, I would say, would be active against racism. She seems like the white woman that would actively stand up against racism. <laughs> and we've got Akali. I don't think Akali really cares. Uh, Alistar, dude, Alistar is a cow. Alistar could probably not give less of a shit. Again, okay, Mumu. I'd say Mumu is slightly racist on the inside. And Anivia, again, Anivia is a god. And she just probably sees above the races. Uh, Yo, what's up, Dory? Hey, well, good morning. Yo, appreciate the love, everybody. Thank you guys so much.
without remorse. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I wish I was good at AD carry outside of Caitlyn, so then I could help you control like dragons and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't matter, bro. You can still lose the game with fucking dragon soul. Oh, they're definitely there. My team decides to come over. Why, why are you guys so late? They fucking run dumb. Now. You guys are fucking dumb. The dragon nears. Headed towards you. Go. Oh. A summoner has reconnected. I go. I smell fear. How can I move? Fuck. Shakos are right here. He's looking for a blue buff because I took his. <laughs> <laughs>
quiet before battle. Uh, you get some level. <laughs> I'm gonna come bottom because maybe we can counter gank and kill. Oh. They should run now. An enemy has been slain. It goes top. Okay, perfect. Can this drag will not fall it out follow. Nice, that helps me scale. On wings of fury. This is what you want to do now. After you take a dragon, shake those top. Bring scanner. You want to run through towards this chicken. I should also take his fucking rocks. But I'm gonna go ahead and come up here. I go. <laughs> Probably catch him. And try to catch him. Level two four. With the long sword. Mm. Let's see. Without remorse. <laughs> Um, where are you at your bot? Okay. They should run now. Shut down. Come on, buddy. That's not the real one. That's not the real one. That's not the real one. It's this one. On wings of fury. Yeah, I'll take this. I need to mute these guys. These guys are fucking losers. I go. I 
suck top scuttle for you. Thanks, man. I'm on my way over there now, actually. I, I need to get this uh, red buff and try to grab the rift. An enemy has been slain. I'll unfreeze my lane so I have lane prior for you. I mean, even if it's frozen on your side, he comes over and tries to break it, and I'm there, we can fuck him up. You, you can freeze the lane on your side. I see, I see this like something that Darius is. Something that, like Darius mains do. I'm going, at, I'm going ahead and farm in this right now. I know we don't really have cryo. I got my ult in 10 seconds, so I'm just gonna let him push it back in. Oh yeah, with Shaco bot, that's easy for you. Yeah, it's kind of letting me do whatever I want as a jungle. <sighs> I feel bad for uh Cannon. Bottom lane is switching to mid lane. Are they doing a little switch for me? Did I miss something? Wow, Dory with the 200 stars, dude. Thank you. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's really awesome of you. Ne I don't expect that from you guys, so thank you so much. That's huge. Wow, thank you. On wings of All right, this made a little money today, dude. Thanks, Dory. You're so nice. Thank you. You okay, sweetheart? Um, did Sona just pass her own? Nothing like me. We both don't have flash tops. So. Okay, I'm just trying to freeze this wave. I don't understand why they left. Yeah, I still have teleport, he doesn't. So. Alright, I can come in, but I don't have But I can try to, like, get him to fuck off. I'm trying to kill his ult. I'm about to die. I just need to kill his ult, and then I can come back. Yeah, it's just when he's got his ult up. <clears throat> the enemies of Demacia will fall. Okay. 
Okay, why are we letting Vlad just free farm it? Oh, bro, nailed him with the knockout <laughs> Yeah! Kick his ass! An enemy has been slain. Shaco's bot. Fucking coming out with the fucking dragon. What? Why could I not attack? Why am I stuck for so long? taking dumb fights for us. I don't even know what stunned me. What's wrong, Vlad? You were fucking... Yeah. 
So we get this take this punch the first one and then use it on the second one. Oh, they're all up. Uh, nah, I was it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's get it all the way to the to the third tower. We can get two, or we can at least pop it on the second, because I can. Yeah, and then I'll teleport back. Chong, right? Yeah. Oh. Back it up. The quiet before battle. Got some MR boots because I'm pretty sure Yorick's alt does MR damage. Really, does AP damage? Okay. I think just his alt does. Dragon's coming up. I would like to be there for that. Park doesn't have a mythic yet, huh? Come here, come to me. Yeah. Fuck yeah, let's go. Really can in hell. Be right back. Just trying to stop this cannon from fucking beating. I'm coming, buddy. Have to cover this cannon. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to go mid. Dude, we have two mountain drakes though, so you and I are fucking beefy. I am. <clears throat> I'm a big boy. Got my fire thing up too. Yeah.
bitch. They walked right into that, so I was like, you know what? I will tank all of this. <laughs> Ezreal got her sniped! Yeah, man. Uh, you got, you got, look at, like, grabbing a Nexus, like, grabbing a re like grabbing an offensive rebound, or a rebound, right? You just gotta turn around and get it back up on defense. Oh, I had already left the way when they died. I was like, you idiots! I know, I know, man. They just stayed, man. They stayed trying to, they were trying to get a cheese on the double team and it didn't work. And then they got, they got slipped up. Nice, we hurt. Nico? Drags in a minute. An enemy has been slain. An ally has been slain. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Okay, your friendly neighborhood super tank is here to... <laughs> okay, what are you building next? Frozen Heart? Yeah. <laughs> nice mountain soul, it's huge for us. Guys, maybe we can jump to Shaker right here. I have all. Oh my god. It's like I have the timers memorized or something. Yeah. 
Yo, is your, your horn item though? 120 ability power? 120 ability power? Is it just like a combo like plus 5 of each stack? I'm not sure, each one gets a different... Shaco's here after he mid. I just <laughs> football jump that fucking is real. Oh my god. Now I have enough to get my rapid offense. <laughs> Alright, let's go then. Like I knew what the Shaco was going to do. I kind of had a like a, an educated guess, and the Shaco did exactly the opposite of what I, he should have done. The Shaco kind of just fucked up, he fucked himself over, bro. Honestly. Yeah, I just picked a safe champ that I knew would be a tank melee assassin fighter. Dude, great pick, man. Seriously, that sustain from the top lane, like. Orn, Orn didn't have an, or I mean York didn't have an easy time. I only got 18 LP off of that, bro. I got an S minus. <laughs> you get eight in 18 LP. Whatever, bro. You, this game is such horseshit, bro. The developers at Riot, they want to be so fucking popular on Reddit and shit, dude. Bro, suck my balls and fix your fucking LP system, bro. You guys get paid way too much money to have a broken game. It's uh, like it's uh, like bro, like if I if I was like your foreman, right, and I, and Riot was like one of my workers, bro, right, I would have to mark you as unsatisfactory. I would have to mark you that. <laughs> I would have to. It, it would because it would be the rules, bro. You would fall under that category of like all the checks in the box, bro. I I tally and uh, I tally them up. Riot Games would be UA or US, man, unsat. I'll be right back. All right, bro. Me too, man. We'll go grab some water, dude. And uh, we'll get right back, dude. Probably play another Shivana, man. I really want to play Viego, dude. I really want to pop off with Viego. Right. That's my favorite thing to do, man, is to pop off with Viego. But uh, I've been having a hard time carrying games with him, man. Just be getting absolutely decimated. I just, um, with Viego, it's like, if you're going to make a move, you have to know that the risk is going to be worth it. You can't make coin flips with Viego because if you get left behind, you become a liability and your team just suffers, man. So, uh, Shivana felt pretty safe because I could just scale. Um, even in, like, if I could just even land like an E or something like, like a Shivana E or something, get my Dark Harvest stacks pretty early. Um, that just helps so much. And then those dragons too. The drag. Each time you slay a dragon, you get uh, plus five armor and magic resist. So it's huge, man. That's that's, that's huge as Shivana. And like, and if your team isn't helping you, get those dragons are trolling you, bro. Like your Shivana and Shivana with the team that has a decent team comp. 
is um, was pretty formidable. And you guys, you guys should be making effort. You should. It should be known that you need to make an effort to try to grab those dragon objectives, man. If you want to win, you know what I'm saying. Yo, John, what's up, man? Good to see you, dog. What's up, big dog? Johnny, yo, how your game's been, man? I'm Justin, I'm gonna go top off my coffee. Be right back. Oh, that account yeah man i don't know what happened bro we had like one good win streak bro we had like one good win streak that day and then it was just like win lo loss streak after loss streak bro this shit was that shit was brutal Man, you guys are so nice to me, you guys. You guys are so nice to me. Coming through, watching me play my game, man. Why, giving me stars, dude. That's so nice of you guys. Seriously, it makes my day, dude. My, I feel pretty good about that. So thank you. Yeah, man, with enough stars, I can be able to afford a new Shivana skin. You know what I mean? Six seventy-five. Yeah, that's what Ashley was saying. Ashley can't get on a win streak now either, dude. I don't know what it is.
Oh, Justin. Okay, man. All right, just is taking off for a bit. I'll run solo. Sorry, man. I just, I just think it's absurd how I see these people that uh, are so quick to like try to ban guns, bro. Listen, if you're afraid of guns, I get it, man. It's big and scary, and it can be dangerous. That's fine. Then you don't you don't have any business being around a firearm then. You just don't. If you're not going to take the time to be responsible and be mature enough to handle a firearm, just don't even go around them then. Just don't. If it makes you uncomfortable, then don't go around them. But you're not going to sit there and you're going to tell me that I can't have one. You're not going to. One, I have a gun. So if you're going to bully me or try to be tyrannical towards me, I can defend myself. That's the kind of the point. And the thing is, hmm, I've been trained, I have the knowledge, I know where to go and find the knowledge, I know how to continue training, so I can just go ahead and use my intellect, my responsibility in my brain, right, that I've been taught, to go ahead and use my best judgment for that. So people are so afraid of being responsible, man. So, so there's so many people out there that are just afraid to be fucking responsible. Like, seriously, yeah, if you're not responsible enough for it, don't come around it, bro. Some people aren't responsible enough to have kids, but they let people keep on having kids. Why don't they ban that? Jesus fuck, man. Fucking adults want to be... There's so many adults that want to be... Want this country to be ran like a fucking daycare, bro. You want to... These adults want to go to daycare. They don't want to be fucking responsible. Absolutely. They want... They don't want you to defend yourself. They want you... They want you to look to them for protection. They want you... To want them to look for their food protection and consuming their contents and goods that way because then it makes it easy because then the herd is controlled man i'm not a fucking i'm not livestock bro I'm a, I'm a man i'm a human man i should be able to come and go as i please i should be able to say what's on my mind without having to ever be afraid of getting in trouble 
I should be able to scrutinize who I want to feel like who I believe deserves scrutiny, man. Because I'm not unfair. I'm not. I'm nobody of authority. I'm nobody with any power. My, me scrutinizing authority is if that's a threat to you, you're probably doing something wrong. That right there is an indicate. That there is an indication that you're probably doing something wrong. You can't be scrutinized. You can't be criticized. You're you're doing something wrong. And then if you're going to use your power to prevent people from doing that to you, then you're just abusing your power. Then you're a tyrant. Then you're you're a tyrant at that point. chest man like this whole like it feels like today too you talk about you try to talk out about veganism and stuff like that like bro you it's like it's like there's this group of people man for some reason they think they're sitting in this position where they're so altruistic they're so selfless but yet they're so out of fucking touch bro you just live this living in your own echo chamber, man. Living in your own echo chamber, surrounded by people with the same stupid ideas that you have, so you feel fucking safe because we're a herd species, right? So whenever you have when the whole herd is is acting the same, it feels safe, bro. But guess what, man? I've seen entire herds run off of fucking cliffs or right into the mouths of fucking alligators, dude. Go ahead, man. And it seems to be the ones that talk out about this ones are like the ones that are trying to fucking control and buy everything. Like fucking Disney. Oh, wow. Pharaoh has smite. Sweet. Like Disney and Microsoft and Apple. It's all corporations, man. It's all corporations and their lawyer buddies. It's just business guys and their lawyer friends manipulating the government so that way they can get rich and keep other people they don't want to get rich not to. And so let's just give them all the money, bro. Just give them all the money. They already they, they, they've been printing so much of it anyway. Just give them all the money so that way they're fucking happy and they can just fuck off. They do, that's what they want, bro. Is all the money. They're corrupt. They're corrupt. They need they need the money to play this fucking game. This fucking weird consumer game. No price. How much plastic can we fucking? How much plastic shit can we make and make our? You know that we can get our. We can keep our mentally ill people to buy. Keep them buying it. And also that plastic shit makes you sick, dude. Our food is wrapped in plastic, bro. Why do you think we're getting so much fucking cancer these days, dude? All the fucking plastic, dude. Everything around me is plastic. Plastic. My cell phone, plastic. Keyboard, plastic. It, this container, plastic. Everything is plastic, bro. Whoever figured that out is making fucking money, dude. We figured out how to take the oil and stretch it out so thinly and you can just make anything. Look at my Gundams, dude. All plastic. That's all my Gundam model kits are. It's just plastic. For the dark is me. Whoever figured out how to fucking stretch plastic so thin and make shit so people can just buy it is so fucking smart, bro. I wish I came up with that, man. Minions have spawned. What is lost is never lost to me. Yeah, what, what bugs me is, like, the activism, right? Like, I'm not actively trying to force you to be responsible with gun, with gun ownership. I'm not actively trying to fucking get you to get involved in fitness and improving your health and body, dude. I'm not actively trying to get, make you read more. 
It's not my place, bro. And it's not yours either, man. This is supposed to be a sovereign nation of sovereign people, of, a, of responsible adult male and females, man, that can make decisions to lead this family to prosperity. Granted, the game is rigged, but it's honestly, it's from our own complacency. It's supposed to be a sovereign nation, man. Where adults get to decide, bro, what you want to watch on TV, what you don't want to watch on TV. That's up to you, man. What you consume should be up to you, dude. The market should be free. And what sells is what people want, bro. If people want fucking anime titties, guess what's going to be selling, bro? Anime titties. If people want to feel fucking some kind of altruistic superiority, that's what they're going to be selling all that virtue shit, bro. People want to be feeling patriotic. Guess what's going to be selling, bro? Patriotic shit, bro. It doesn't matter what you're into. They're just trying to see what's hype so they can make it into plastic and sell it to you, dude. It's all manufactured, man. They're trying to get, get us riled up so they can use our energy and our emotions. So they can pull those strings so we can buy whatever bullcrap they're trying to sell. Whatever hashtag or movement that they can wrap it up in fucking plastic, dude. All you're buying is the idea we were that you created in the shape of plastic. <laughs> So yeah, man, whatever like, um, just whatever like politics or whatever you're buying into, just know they don't really care about you. They just care about your fucking vote, bro. They, they all have a fucking agenda and a power play. Whatever side you're fucking playing, dude, they want your vote so they can have their little fucking power, dude. So, because, I, I mean, Lord of the Rings, dude, I mean, J.R.R. Tolkien, the, one of the very first sentences in the Lord of the Rings, bro, in the Fellowship of the Ring, at the very beginning is, above all else, man desires power. And it's true, man. And it's fucking true, dude. Men... The, 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 the human species will do some crazy shit for a, an illusion of power, dude. And the thing is, man, powerful people, they gonna die and rot just like you and me, dude. Their flesh is gonna fall off their bones. Their shit stinks just like mine and yours, bro. They still have to eat. They still have to put their pants on in the fucking morning, bro. But for some reason, they think that they deserve more than you and me, man. So what do they do? They trick people and manipulate people's minds and personalities and twist them into these strange what creatures that are... It's a human on surface level, but... Thoughts, personalities, been reduced to nothing more than a consuming. Diana. The 
black mist flows Dragons, let's go. Yet I'm forced to kill for it. Yeah, bro, we played like ass last night. So like, yeah, I really don't want to tower dive here. We wait 20 seconds and then tower dive. <laughs> I keep thinking of like, bro, what is the definition of autism? I can't really define it, but I can give you an example of that play right there. <laughs> Okay, Diana's there. Oh, she doesn't have ignite. Okay. You look, I gotta go say what's up to Ashley real quick. Here. Hey! 
the queue. The world denied my happiness. All right, so that was the first time I died. And what, what, what did I die? It was around 11 minutes. Okay, okay. The last message in, in chat. Was it a DM? I don't I probably did. I don't know. The shadow aisles are just the beginning. An enemy has been slain. Very scared me, bro. I, for a second, I thought it was the Lilia. <laughs> yeah, man. Like me just talking about like. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, did you hear me talking about how stupid we were whenever we tower dove after we talked about not tower diving? You remember that? Don't chase Lilia. Your team has
Yeah, dude, not one of those. Two games back to back. Those games suck, bro. I don't know what your line win rate is, bro, but whenever we play together, we do not win. I'll tell you that much. out of her sleep. That's kind of OP. Hey, quick question. Where the fuck is my team? Why are you trying to fight the fucking tank? Oh, uh, wait, I'm gonna need Death you. Dance, actually. Nothing. That's actually what I should have built. I need to drop my fucking Rift Herald off, too.
and slain. Your team has destroyed a turret. Your turret has been destroyed. An ally has been slain. Isold was my life. Viego died when she lived, and the ruined king was born.
The Shadow Isles are just the beginning. Enemy double kill. Your turret has been destroyed. No salvation for the dark, for the dark is me. My great, unending sadness.
An enemy is godlike. Take that and take until there is nothing left of them. Your turret has been destroyed. An enemy is legendary. has been destroyed. Your turret has been destroyed. An enemy is legendary. a fucking time with those people. I had fun, though. I had fucking fun, just... <laughs> I had fun watching them fucking scramble, bro. What the fuck were they doing? They didn't do shit smart, man. Someone just just uninstall League, bro. Just uninstall it. Don't play League anymore. Probably be a time. Just play Destiny. Be a Destiny player. trying to scapegoat this man into this season not being what they thought it would be. Skip, I'm a firm believer. If you, What type of environment you have, especially if it's sports-related, you either coach a behavior or you condone a behavior. Yeah, now, true. which is it, Taylor Jenkins? Mm -hmm. Because when they were chirping last year, and they started this last year, yeah. you didn't say anything. The organization did not get this under control. And you thought it was cute 
because you went in a couple of games that are, oh, the Grizzlies, they young and they up and coming, and they just chirping. And everybody, let them chirp, let them talk. Now you 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 come up short of yeah. your expectations and now you will play place all this at Dylan Brooks' feet. Nah, Dylan Brooks is the least of your problems. You know what the problem is, but y'all won't say that out loud. There was another bigger problem that circulated the latter part of this season. It did. But y'all put that on Dylan Brooks. Skip, D Dylan Brooks said what he said. But don't nobody talk more than Ja. Go to the games and see. He was the one that every time he do something this, he can't effing guard me. Get him out of here. You coach it or you condone it. Yep. Now you want to place this at this man's feet. Now, Sean reported that they offered him an extension, but he wants more of a role. Or early this year. Early this year. Yes. But he wants more of a role that shows I can do more than what you're asking me to do. Okay. Because it's going to be Ja, rightfully so. Yep. And then it goes either Desmond Bain, Triple J, Triple J, Desmond Bain. But whatever the case may be, Dylan Brooks says I'm only going to be the fourth option. Yeah. And then y'all y'all grit your teeth every time I shoot a shot. Yep. But y'all want me to guard LeBron. Y'all want me to guard Steph Curry. Y'all want me to guard KD. Yeah. Book, whomever the case may be. But when I shoot the ball, y'all y'all rolling your eyes. This is some bull jive. They didn't lose to the Lakers because of Dylan Brooks said what he said. That's not why you lost. And even if that was the skip, even if that was the case, you mean to tell me you let this get out? Oh, we not re-signing this man under any circumstances? Really? Yeah. So y'all do the man like that. Now, there ain't no question that the man played, he played as hard as he could. I believe he's getting as much as he can out of his God-given ability. He believes he can do more on the offensive end. Okay, hopefully he goes somewhere, gets that opportunity. We see Mikael Bridges, when all of a sudden he's not the third option, he's the first option, look at his scoring number. Uh, I saw, don't think this guy can do that. Okay, okay, yeah. we, 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 but I'm, I'm right. just saying, he says, let me see. Yep. Skip, if I fail, let me fail him on my own. Yep. Don't you hold me back. If I can't swim, I can't swim. Yep. But if you got your hand on my head holding me underwater, you tell me, come on, come No. That's a bull job. That's some bull job. Yeah, he said it. Yeah, he talk a lot. And he doesn't have the game to back it up. But Skip, they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have had to do this man like this. That means he deserved better than that. But the bigger issue you got is still there. Yeah, he is. That's on that, I'm only Y'all don't want to talk about that. The real reason is really going on. What is going on? What is going on with the okay. league, man? Bingo. Confirm. You also could be very right about your Dylan Brooks point. I do like the gist of what you're saying because it does feel scapegoaty to me. Yeah. It's like well, somebody's got to pay for this. Right. How about him? Yeah, exactly. Because he's, he's low hanging fruit. He's, yeah. he's expendable. <laughs> he is. All right. I will say though, there was the ESPN report middle of the series that said trying try to get rid of him on the trade deadline. So I don't know about this, but but the, the, the point is the point. What, what do you always say about production and tolerance? Yes. All of a sudden. Production is high, so is tolerance. Okay. Tolerance will never be higher than production. All right. So, all of a sudden, he became a little more troubled than he was worth yeah. to them. Right. And it was an easy swing of the ax, actually. You know, so they just said, okay, he's gone. Right. And we're going to make a big deal out of it because it's a good PR move for the organization. Ah, right. oh, we cut bait with him. Skip.
In the end, it matters not. I will see her face again. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. My red. I am already a monster, suited for the horrors I must inflict. <laughs> Yeah. 
It hurts my heart. It hurts so much. Why did you ping all in if you're not going to fucking come and do anything? No. She remains in this world. I can feel it. Auto his ass. God damn. An ally has been slain. Trash. An ally has been slain.
What is your wraith but the ravenous shadow of a man? See what these animals can do. of a world without my cruelty. Read your berserk every day if you want to be big and strong like guts. Allied has been slain. Reborn in life, ripped away from his only love. <laughs> the 
Khan got him. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, great. Nice kill, man. That was a really good kill, Varus. You're fucking awesome, bro. I'm so happy that you're you're on my team, man. I'm so fucking happy that this Varus is here, dude. Yes. Oh yeah, dude. And so it was. It feels so awesome to have such a productive teammate.
An enemy is legendary. Bro, this is fucking dumb, dude. This is literally fucking mental illness. Curious. It hurts my heart. It hurts so much. An ally has been slain. Bitch is 13 and 0. <laughs> the bitch is 13 and 0 in in 20 minutes. Bro, I've never seen it, man.
Your turret has been destroyed. Your turret has been destroyed. Your turret has been destroyed. Can't fucking win, bro. <laughs> Can't fucking win. I'm not allowed to win, dude. I'm not allowed to win, bro. Oh, man. Disgusting. Fucking disgusting, dude. I'm disgusted with the community. Disgusted with this game. I don't, like, I don't even get to fucking play, bro. Half of my games are just taking, they're just, they're just, they're over in four minutes. Over half of my games are over in four minutes. And then when it's late game and we survive and it's time to do something smart, what do people do? Tower dive. the best bro i i love it man i love this shit dude i fucking love this shit bro i fucking i love this shit dude the game this game is so fucking fun dude this game is so fucking fun bro I want to speak to a writer, yeah. Like, let me, let me, like, yo, why is your game shit? Like, you play this game. Why do you, you play it? You know it's shit.
Oh, yo, thanks for the like, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. Who am I fighting? Trend Jungle. <laughs> We're about to get shitted on. Coronavirus, my unbanned account. <sighs> I really don't want to fucking play this game. I really don't fucking feel safe. Submission or this death team. for all who live. In the end, it matters not. I will see uh, I just feel disgusted. I just feel disgusted by these people. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. You're gonna give me an AFK point while I'm sitting for the red, dude. Riot, you can literally suck on my balls, bro. The CEO of Riot. Let me come to your office, bro. Put my nuts on your desk so you can give him a thorough fucking suck, bro. It's either that or you owe me fucking money. You owe me money, bro. You can't say you're putting an effort into regulating your game, bro. Regulating shit whenever it's in this state, dude. Like, it's either you're gonna fucking pay me or you're gonna fucking suck on my nuts, dude. Whoever the right, whoever the right CEO is, bro. You're a man just like me, dude. You ain't no fucking better. You got money, dude. Good, so you can afford some ball sucking lessons, dude. So go ahead and get you some fucking practice. So you can start gobbling on these fucking nuts, dude. Because it's the least that you fucking owe me, man. It really is the least. An enemy has been slain.
did that not connect? Dude, I swear I hit that. I am already a monster. Beef. Viego died when she did, and the ruined king was born. An enemy has been slain. I will take... has been slain.
God, I feel. Uh, I uh, I gotta stick to my stomach. I think I might throw up. Oh shit! An enemy has been slain. Am I a full-time streamer? Yeah, I'm a full-time streamer. Am I am I a full-time successful streamer? Nah, I am not a successful streamer. Do I work? Not anymore. Nope. I don't like fucking people. I don't like work. I don't fucking I don't like it. I don't like having to put up with that shit. It's just a bunch of shit that you have to tolerate with other people that I just don't have the patience for. And then I feel like if I speak my mind, I just get ostracized. Let me just say, I find people, I find people to be exhausted. Shut down. Soon the enemy has been saved. I swear I altered over the wall there, bro. Oh. 
Stupid, bro. I think this game just made me physically ill, dude. I feel sick to my stomach.
Shut down. The girl from her lips. The soft lips. I remember her sinking. He has been slain. And then... And then... You can boop yourself. Keep your eyes on the horizon. On the ground. has been slain. Salvation from the dark, 
for the dark is me. An enemy has been slain. Your turret has been destroyed. It is such a small and fragile thing. <laughs> Unstoppable. Dominating. Build yourself. Put a shield on.
did as much you could though, Morgana. That was actually. has destroyed a turret. So the two games I win today, I get an S minus on both games, and then uh, <laughs> only 18 LP. But yo, it looks like Justin's back. Maybe we can get some games in with Justin. We'll see that he's online anyway. We'll send him an invite. Maybe he'll want to play.
Oh, I gotta use the bathroom again, bro. That's what you get for hydrating, man. You have to pee all the time. Alright, one sec, be right back. Shit, Justin, you hear big guy? I'm up in there. One sec, guys. I'm gonna queue up again. I was just hopefully, I was hopefully waiting for Justin to return, and that way we could pick him up for the next one. But it seems like he's still AFK. 
It's all good though. I'm sure he'll be back. Get some games in with our boy. But uh, so who we got here with us, man? Who's uh, who's still viewing? Who's still viewing with us, man? Justin, you back yet, dog? If you can hear me, don't say anything. <laughs> Just fucking around. Uh, right.
Want to make the switch to Shopify and keep all of your business critical data? No problem. Sign up for a free trial at Oh, I have to get GM. What's GM at? I actually have to do I can't play this on the server if I'm not GM. What's GM? 90 help. Wait, no way. There's no way, by the way. Wait, it's actually like 300. What? Wait, that's so crazy. It's 300 LP. Bro, EU, it's 800. 751? This has to be wrong. 569? These guys are demoting. Maybe it is 569. 500. That's what I'm thinking. Probably destroying the way that our minds are developed to socialize with people. Um, maybe so, like, um, yeah, I, I can expand more on some part of that if you want to dive into anything more of that. If you yeah, can. so do, I, I'd like to play a fun game. Go for it. How about you tell me what woo you believe? You don't need the studies, I'll give you the studies. Sure. So, what um, do you think is going on? Because I, I think you're spot on. This is sure. Like um, yeah, I think, I think there's a lot of things going on. I think that the, um, uh, pressure for appearance is obviously detrimental to teenage girls, especially. But um, the you're you're seeing so many images now telling you what you're supposed to look like, and social media has allowed us to so, social media and cosmetic surgery has like ramped this up to levels that previously were thought impossible. Like before, it was just you're competing with like girls with a lot of makeup. Okay, fine. Now you're, then you're competing with girls with a lot of makeup and Pamela Anderson's with like, you know, big boobs and fake surgery and whatever. Okay. And now you're competing with like people on Instagram that are using Facetune for perfect skin that even on videos have live filters that are also getting a lot of cosmetic surgery. Minions has spawned. Isolde was my life. Viego died when she did, and the ruined king was born.
Chase. What is lost is never lost in An ally has been slain. This mission is not one cure, and I will find it. It hurts my heart.
no way. I'm glad they're going. I'm glad they're taking care of this. Son of a bitch, dude. I keep on coming down on this bottom lane thinking something's going to happen, but. It's on. I will take and take until 
there is nothing left but her. Nice, man. been slain. An ally has been slain. Dude. They keep feeding, bro. They can't stop feeding. An ally has been slain.
Your turret has been destroyed. God, it just leaves me hanging every fucking time I try to do something, man. has been slain. It has been destroyed. Remember her simply to walk and then
against me. Call me villain. Enemy killing spree. Your turret has been destroyed. been slain. An enemy has been slain. Is my mouse broken, dude? to go to bottom lane or mid lane, bro. I can't go to a lane because they're just gonna get fucked up. I am already a monster. Suited for the horrors I must inflict. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. Your inhibitor has been destroyed. Double kill. Not yet. Enemy rampage.
incomparable. My forces scour the world. Nothing will escape. An enemy is unstoppable. Shut down. And so That shit coming, man. I don't want to sit there and fucking play with lames. Oh my god, dude. Just Ask is, cool. where do you want to be in one year? Where do you want to be in five years? What do you want to be doing later? And if they don't know, then I always tell them, like, you're, like, you're, whatever the answer you come up with here is meaningless. Because if you don't know where you want to be in a year or five years, like, who cares what you decide now? But, if you know where you want to be in five years, if you know what you're like aiming for, all the other decisions are actually super easy. Um, there's very few conflicts in life that are hard to solve. Uh, they might be um, like, or, or rather, the solutions are usually simple. They might not be easy, but they're usually simple if you know where you want to be, right? That's why when you're in high school, um, when you're picking classes as a junior, you usually say, well, what do you want to do in college? Because that'll tell you what classes you need to take as a senior, and that'll tell you what you need to take as a junior, right? And then same thing with difficulties in life. You know, if you want to be in five years at some place financially, well, then you know that you probably have to make difficult decisions right now about how you're going to increase your, you know, your earning power. But at least you know where you're headed, so you have the ability to suffer through and push through and do that. And the, yeah, the decisions kind of fall in line. But people trying to figure out really complicated answers to questions now, where they don't know where they want to be, even in like one or two years, it's an insurmountable task. And whatever you choose, you're you're going to be like aimless wandering through life doing it yeah I, I think what I tend to see completely agree with that is that even if you look at like dating right so people don't have a North Star and they get stuck in this loop of optimization mm -hmm. so when I see people who are paralyzed and they're they're trying to figure out okay what should I do they're usually trying to figure out okay what is the most efficient decision what is the best decision to make whereas mm -hmm. what I tend to find is that when people have purpose you actually make a lot of inefficient or poor decisions but those are the right decisions and they're worth it. Mm -hmm. In the simplest way I would uh, describe it is that, you know, everyone's trying to figure out, okay, how do I find the, the right partner? 
Whereas like the way to have a successful relationship is to fall in love with arguably the wrong person. And then if you're lucky enough, you find a way to make it work because there is a North star or some kind of compass that moves you there. I don't think falling in love is sufficient, but it's a mm -hmm. huge part of it. And then when sure. people kind of go all in on it, there may be all kinds of reasons why this is not the right relationship. Mm -hmm. And then I think the reason to stay or go depends on whether that person is willing to work with you to like make it what it needs to be. But I, I see far, for far too long, I mean, I, I've seen so many people where I'd say the core of their problem is like, you're trying to figure out what the most efficient solution is, but you've got no direction. Yeah. And so and you, you can optimize paralyzed. really well for like many things in your life, but like, what are you optimizing for? You know, yeah, right. People always ask, yeah, people will say things like, do you think it'd be good if I did this? And my answers are like, well, good with respect to what? I mean, like it could be, or it could be the worst decision ever. It really depends on what you're trying to do, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think another issue here is that I think we've lost touch with what we want because society has gotten so good at telling us what we want. Um, lost touch. I'm thinking about that statement. I want to disagree, um, but it's probably going to be semantically. We'll probably agree. I think that the problem is I think that we go after what we want too much but our wants are very short-term oriented. Like everybody, like for instance, like if I were to make a really edgy statement, I would say every single person that's obese wants to be obese. And the reason why they want to is because they want to sit on the couch, they want to watch TV, well, play computers these days, sorry. Um, they want to eat foods that are high in sugar. Um, they want to avoid exercise at all costs. If you want all of those things, well, then you want to be obese. But nobody really wants to be obese, but it's that um, it's the time horizon and everything, the windows of like all the short-term pleasures are there. And if you're doing all of that, you're always building towards this thing that in the in the in the grand you might not want it. Like it, overall, you might want something different. But um, it, we we make so many decisions in such short time windows that we seem to like lose sight of the grander thing. Yeah, so what do you think it is that makes us... Uh, I'll, I'll top your edgy statement with a story in a second, but okay. um, what, what do you think it is that makes us lose sight of the long term? Um, oh, man. So here is... Uh, I'm doing more woo-woo now. I feel, like, uh, I feel like in life, I feel like there is... Uh, I, I know there's some edgy loser fuck philosopher that's probably said this better than me, but I actually, I feel like friction in life is actually probably more important than I ever thought it was. Some amount of struggle before pleasure is probably part of the whole pleasure. Like, it's probably a necessary part of the human experience. And I think that, um, like, so for example, something I'll say, I say this to someone who hasn't read a book in so long, the feeling that you get when you finish a book is incomparable to however many memes you can go through. It feels way more fulfilling, but memes are like more gratifying and you just do that. I think that for a lot of parts of our life, we've stripped out all the friction and we found a way to get the immediate pleasure in everything. And in doing so, we've lost the ability to deal with any amount of adversity or friction to get to a longer goal. And I think that that desire to reduce friction in all areas of our lives has compromised our ability to work towards things even in the medium term, I think. It's that removal of friction. Yeah, so I, I, I'm with you that I think we, it's an issue of semantics and I think we're saying the same thing. So I, I mm -hmm. would even add one layer on top of that. So I'm with you that I think we remove friction, right? So we're in the age of, of food delivery, grocery delivery. Uh, you don't even, you, you don't have to go to a game store to buy a game anymore, right? Like yeah. I can get everything brought to my house. Mm -hmm. um, I can make friends on Discord. I can do everything in a frictionless way. And we even get we get entitled with it so fast too. Like, you, like only today in 2023, like this fucker that just brought my food from another place in the city won't even come up to my fucking door. I've got to go downstairs to get it. And it's like, bro, holy shit! I, I find myself doing shit like this. Like, Jesus Christ! Like when I was a kid, the internet didn't even exist, and I'm already this spoiled over everything. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I would say that as a consequence of the frictionless, I'm I'm with you in terms of of that friction is important, but I'm gonna sort of take it in a slightly different direction. But mm -hmm. I think this is where uh, leaning on kind of the Eastern stuff for a minute. So I think we've lost the capacity to like introspect and have awareness of our internal drives, which is what I would say leads to a lack of long-term thinking. So if mm -hmm. we sort of think about internal drives, right? Purpose or, or dharma or something like that. Those tend to be long lasting, right? So it's like, if it's something that you care about that can usually not be satisfied in a very short amount of time. Whereas what we've done is as we've become, as our attention has become externalized, the wants that we have have become given to us by the outside. Play this new video game, 
buy this new thing, watch this new movie. You know, and this is where people can talk about materialism. I think it's even deeper than materialism. It's not about materialism, not material. It's even like, if, you know, take this new course on spirituality, like, and be more fulfilled, right? The five-minute body. <laughs> right? Five-minute yeah. body, the f five minutes yeah. to enlightenment, you know, like, yeah, now yeah. do it faster. The five tips that keep you from getting enlightened. Yeah. Like, it, it's all this kind of, like, instant gratification stuff. But the main thing is that literally our mind is not paying attention. It's not looking this way. It's uh -huh. looking that way. And when we do that, I think we fundamentally lose sight of what we want, and they're replaced by almost conditioning. And I've seen this a lot in, in some of the patients or clients that I've worked with, where they've been conditioned to want to be successful. And they uh -huh. do a lot of stuff, they make a lot of sacrifice, but the sacrifice they're doing is to make their parents happy. Uh -huh. And then they sort of end up successful where they should be happy, and instead their life feels empty. And I was really worried for a little while. I went and talked to one of my supervisors about this, because... 30% of my patients within one year to 18 months of joining my practice would make a major career change. And I started okay. to like be scared that I was like, hold on a second. Am I imposing my value system on people so that are like giving up the career that they've spent a decade or two doing? Mm -hmm. And I was, I was really concerned that I was like, you know, doing things. Maybe I was biasing people or, or things like that. But it turns out I, I don't really think I was. It just turns out that when you start to ask people questions about, okay, like, what do you want? And once you really do a thorough introspective exploration, people find out answers and then they start to change the direction of their life. Mm -hmm. And and so I, I'm with you. I don't think we actually disagree, but I, I mean, that's kind of the issue is that we don't, we're so caught up in this sort of frictionless gratification that we lose sight of what we actually care about. Yeah. I think that um, it's funny because something you just said here actually wraps around to something you said um, close to the beginning of our conversation is you said one of the issues with mental health is that it seems like we're ceding control of our mental well-being to other people. And in a way, that's kind of what you just said here, that we're externalizing even our drives to other people around us. Um, and it's so funny because I think of like, I'm, I, I'm, I'm borrowing a lot from like Red Bull stuff because that's what I've been fighting with recently. But like when, when these people talk about like, you've heard about like the grind set, right? Yeah. Wake up at 4 a.m., take a cold shower, go like all these like crazy things, right? And it's like, where does that, is that your drive? Or have you actually like externalized that process and now somebody else is giving you, you a drive to be on the grind set? Do you even want to be on the grind? What are you even oh. grinding for? You're like, what do you even care about? Yeah, yeah, what are you saying? Yeah, I mean, I think it's absolutely their drive. Mm -hmm. So, so I mean, I, I don't, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm pulling stuff from offline conversations and, and stuff like that, and even uh -huh. clients or patients. But I, I think that my experience with a lot of people who, who espouse the philosophy, and it's not really fair if we're not, you know, representing them accurately. So let's just acknowledge that. Is that oftentimes these people do val, they're like they value something deep down on the inside. Like, I want to feel good about myself. I want to feel proud of myself. I want to be loved. But oftentimes, what I find in most of the red pill people I work with is, like, there's a decent chunk of trauma involved. Yeah. Where And, and then what happens is someone comes to you and says, okay, like, if you want something in life, it's been hard for you to achieve it, right? Because you've been trying really hard. And so there's almost this kind of like bias towards the harder something is, the more valuable it is. Yeah. And then what people do is they sell you this idea that like, oh, since you're suffering so hard, like there, a big problem requires a big solution. Uh -huh. And if you are suffering really, really, really bad, something as simple as seeing a therapist for one hour a week for eight months surely cannot fix your problem. You need a bigger solution to your big problem. And so you have to sacrifice everything you've got. 4 a.m., cold showers. You have to slap yourself on the nuts every single day to build up because pain is weakness leaving the body. And if you do all of these things, you will achieve that thing that you value. Because I do see a lot of sacrifice and, and focus from these people. But I, I still think they're chasing something. Yeah, you know? but that, that the important thing is they never spend time figuring out what that something is. So like, I especially look at this in relation to a lot of the advice and critiques they give of like relationship stuff, where I noticed that when I listen to a lot of these Red Bull people, curiously, 
none of them talk about relationships. They might talk about like intersexual marketplace dynamics, or they might talk about like the most effective ways to hook up with people, or they might talk about like reproductive strategies or whatever. But I've never heard like a red pill say like, if you're having a big argument with your significant other, like what's the best way to resolve the conflict where both parties, you know, come away feeling like Like I've never heard a conversation like this ever, you know? It's just like um, the, I guess it's like you said, like there's a, there's a lot of push or drive to something, but people like I don't even know if people know what that something is, other than being like the top one percent richest guy, like whatever the most consumerist, you know, hyper capitalist. Yeah, God. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think that that that's what it correlates with, but I suspect mm -hmm. that there's something you know deeper psychological about love and acceptance, because usually in in the the trauma that at least I've seen is oftentimes very explicitly a lack of love and acceptance. Yeah. And I think the reason that I, I, I don't, in a weird way, I, I kind of don't fault them for what you're saying is that they don't talk about how to resolve a relationship with a significant other because I don't think they think about their their unit, and this is where we could be unfair, but my experience of listening to these people and working with these people is they don't, the fundamental unit through which you go through life is an individual, right? Because no one, as you said earlier, you no one cares about you, class. Yeah. right? Oh, oh, sure, yeah. Right. So no, no one no one is going to care about you. You have to look out for yourself. So they go through like life is a single player game for them. It's not a co-op game. Mm -hmm. So if you kind of think about it, you're not you're not playing co-op with a partner. Partners are NPCs and they dehumanize them. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see, OK, I'm playing like life is a single player game and like relationships are with NPCs. And that's yeah. the way I'm. So why would I care about an NPC's feelings? It's just not yeah. the way that I conceptualize life. Yeah, I agree. For a lot of the dating advice, it feels as a critique I have a lot is that a lot of it feels very zero sum and very adversarial. Like if one side is winning, it means the other side is losing. So you've got to do your best to get one over the other person as much as you can. Yeah. And I think the reason they feel that way is because that's been their experience because they yeah. used to be the NPC, which is what a beta is. Right. And sure. I'll be damned if I'm ever the NPC again. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to be I'm going to be in control. I'm going to get this stuff. And, and, you know, I think the real, uh, the uh, there's a lot of good stuff, I think, in Red Pill because they, they, they. The Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Minions have spawned.
waits for me beyond the beast. My queen, my love, my black and broken heart. Damn, they couldn't wait. <laughs> Fucking get it, dude. <sighs> okay, just around here or whatever. Okay, all right. Just be careful, okay? You know, watch out for cars. Keep your head up. Don't uh. You know, watch the weather. You know, thanks. Let me know. Go have fun. I step away for a sec. Dude, this game is crazy. This game is fucking crazy. That last game, it took me. S Dude, I sat in queue time. So long today, bro. I don't get it, bro. <laughs> like, what? Why is playing this game miserable, dude? Why can't... Like, why is playing this game miserable? No other game is like this, dude. It's not like this client is huge. It's not like it's a huge demanding client, bro. Good God.
111 commons, bro. That's pretty bad. <laughs> <sighs> they advocate for a lot of individual responsibility. I've seen a lot of people who will make like objective progress in their life. Right? It's kind of weird because it's sort of like, in my opinion, kind of this maladaptive strategy where it kind of gets you out of some problems, but then kind of keeps you stuck. And then you sort of have to grow out of that. And some people do and some people don't. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to make people understand that um, maladaptive strategies are usually incredibly effective up to a point uh, yeah. and this is probably true of all as a musician going through college you can learn to play something in a bad way but it works really well but eventually you hit a wall where you can't improve your technique at a point you're not really doing it correctly but then the difficult thing about getting up rid of a maladaptive behavior is it always requires you to regress in terms of um, whatever skill you're doing before you can make progress again which makes it so difficult to move people out of maladaptive habits yeah, one of my supervisors no. told me that the process of growing up is discarding things that work. Sure, that have worked up until a point, right? Exactly, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So so it, it, it's, you know, at the age of 20 or at the age of 30, it sounds like you're discovering that, hey, friction maybe isn't all that bad. Sure, yeah. Right? And, and so I, I think it's... I think it's oftentimes it's their experience of things that got them out, right? And then the, the problem is that if believing in a particular philosophy helped you advance in so many objective ways why are you going to give that philosophy up yeah yeah for sure yeah and that's why it's hard if i stop doing this then i'm going to go back to where i was and i certainly don't want to be there mm -hmm. yeah yeah and like you said unfortunately well fortunately or unfortunately like any any cult any red pill any super left wing whatever like everything is probably going to improve you in some way otherwise nobody would join Right? Even multi-level marketing schemes are going to have people super motivated, probably picking up some kind of good habits in the beginning. So talking people down from those things, especially if people found those things because they were hurting and they were in a bad place, um, is, is, it's very, very, very difficult to, to impossible to talk somebody down from that without them going through a lot of experiences themselves uh, to realize why it might not be the best way to, to go through life. Yeah. Yeah. Eat a day. Mm -hmm. That's not any kind of scientific study of like individual humans. Mm -hmm. The way that we arrived at 2000 calories a day is we surveyed a bunch of people and we took all the people who were not sick. And then we asked them, how many calories do, did you eat? We averaged that number and we made a recommendation for everybody. Sure. So I think work from home is sort of the same way where I'm with you that it's going to work for some people. It's not going to work for other people. But mm -hmm. I think this is where... On balance, I think work from home is a good thing, but what it's uncovered is that there are some people who relied on work to be a substitute for social interaction or, or even like delivering value in the workplace. Yeah. So there's a lot of panic amongst the middle manager level whose primary job it was was to keep people focused and on task. Mm -hmm. And some of them are like fluff pieces where it turns out actually we may not need you. Yeah. Which is really terrifying for them. Like the office space. <laughs> what exactly do you do here or whatever? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> right. And, mm -hmm. and, and so I, I think we're, we need to adapt. And this is where, you know, I think like this is where like we make some adaptations that I'm not a huge fan of. Like, okay, let's have like a Zoom happy hour. Mm -hmm. and, and that's cool in some ways. And it's not, you know, I think it's like sort of a step in the right direction. But I think we need kind of an overhaul of, first of all, like education. We need to train people in how to understand, control, and protect their mind. I think that should be a core part of education. Yeah. And then I think the I other... Wish... Yeah? Oh, yeah. I was going to say, I, I wish for education, if I could throw, like, two classes on, like a basic philosophy class and, like, a basic uh, psychology class. Like, one, to understand how to just structure, like, arguments and thoughts, and the other, to kind of, like, understand the limitations of your own mind. Um, just, like, those two things. There, there are a lot of other things I would if I could, but... God, I wish education let, like prepared you a little bit more to enter the world like as a human being and not just a, like a workplace machine, you know? Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's what's really bizarre is that we actually have some really interesting data. Welcome there was a study I think, done in New York where they uh, took 12,000 kids and randomized them to two groups. Mm -hmm. One group had... 30 seconds until minions spawn. I want them to see you. 
She waits for me beyond the mist. My queen, my love, my black and broken heart. Minions has spawned. Black mist flows for me like a tide. At times it ebbs, but now it is so much full. Isolde is gone, yet I remain. I want precious little. sinking beneath the waters, and then, and then... I'm surprised. What's, who's my opponent? Jax. <clears throat> and so it was that love was the greatest symbol. The Shadow Isles are just the beginning.
first blood. Her lips, the softness of her smile. An enemy has been slain. There is no salvation from the dark, for the dark is me. We'll take and take until there is nothing left but her. An enemy has been slain. She returns to my arms. All will be brought to ruin. My forces scour the world. Now, An ally 
has been slain. I'm trying to make somebody rage quit. That would make me happy. I think I just did. Soon this long, cruel night will end. <laughs> oh my god, bro, that's fucking funny. Dude, I'm having more fun doing this than trying to fucking win the game, dude. This is more fun than trying to win An the game. Ally has <laughs> See, like this right here, look what I'm doing. You know what I mean? This, this right here. That's what they tell you to do, man. Like, oh, you're behind farm, bro. Farm. Like, dude, that's not fucking fun, dude. To get ahead, what do you have to do? Farm. A world that would be beauty is a world that deserves Your turret has been destroyed. We were beautiful once. You can literally just walk around the map. She hit me with a knock up while I was in the middle of the air. <laughs> but seriously, though. Just walking around aimlessly is more fun than actually trying to play this fucking game, bro. Not yet. Ten HP. That's sad.
<laughs> All right, back to bronze, dude. What? It found me a game just like that? Are you serious? Are you serious? Man, are you serious? Fuck you. Yo, you're back?
Seed of the Dark. In the end, it matters not. I will see her face again. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. I feel them calling out. Viego! Save me! Minions has spawned.
small and fragile thing, love. He sold the Guzman life. Diego died. The king was born. smaller than the diagram. Deserves destruction. Will be brought to ruin. A 
An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. A crown lost long ago. Hopping <sighs> over this shit, dude. I'm gonna go take a nap. Enemy Rampage. <sighs> Enemy Rampage. My sword was my life. Oh my Diego died when she did. And the ruined king was born. It is 11 to 2 at 12 minutes. I 
am already a monster, suited for the horrors I must inflict. You know, I feel, I feel like whenever I win games, I'm not even like beating opponents at their best. I'm just beating people that are playing like I'm playing. Like I can't even, I can't even brag. You, you can't even brag, bro. Cause you, the games that you win in low ELO aren't even tough games. The games that you win down here, you win because the other team is just being stupid, bro. Like that's it. That's it. I remember her sinking beneath the waters. An enemy An is unstoppable. Shut down. Your turret has been destroyed. No salvation for the dark. For the dark is me. An enemy has been slain. An enemy is legendary. Search forward. She was the star that lit my path. Without her, the An enemy has been slain.
An enemy is legendary. Oh my god, bro. I don't even complain anymore, bro. I'm just so I'm so tired of complaining. This doesn't do anything. It doesn't help you win. It doesn't help you do shit. Ugh, the game sucks. This game sucks. An ally has been slain. An enemy is legendary. Your turret has been destroyed. An enemy is legendary. Enemy double kill. What is erased but the ravenous shadow of a man? An ally has been slain. Your turret has been destroyed. Her eyes were portraits of a world without my food. Your turret has been destroyed. Die for it. Your turret has been destroyed. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. Shut down. This mist has but one cure, and I will find him. Thank you. 
returns to my arms, all will be brought to ruin. Your team has destroyed a turret. Fun battle, dude. On my way to iron, bro. I was just in gold promos like two days ago. <laughs> I was in gold promos like two days ago, no shit. Now I'm almost iron. <laughs> this game is so fucking dumb, dude. Actually, that's a really good idea, Kelly. What did I say? I talk a lot, so I've learned to just tune myself out. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, that's a really good idea, Kelly. What did I say? Avalon. Okay, I gotta say, for solo carrying games, Avalon's an S plus tier. One billion percent. Because Evelyn just has she used to have a week early game but after the buffs to her q her last buffs when they buffed her q oh my god is her damage absurd and she scales and she has built-in magic pen evelyn a guaranteed s plus tier for solo carrying evelyn okay i gotta say for solo carrying games evelyn's an s monkey and tail and pig and feast 
Bait, 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 bait. Oh my god! Bomba! Penta! Penta! Give it, give it, give it! It's mine! I have it, I have it! Give it to daddy! <laughs> Monkey and cow and... You said it's my job. You're cheating on honey. What? The sharpest object in the world is actually soft and formless. Water. When pressurized to over 100 gigapascals and forced through a 0.05 millimeter nozzle, water transforms into the world's sharpest blade. This incredible water jet cutter is capable of slicing through fruit, breaking rocks, and even turning iron into a mushy paste. It can effortlessly penetrate multiple layers of bulletproof glass stacked together. Even the hardest material on earth, the diamond, has to admit defeat when faced with this powerful force. The sharpest object in the world- Are you black? Yes, sir. So you're black, right? Yes, sir. Nigerian. I oh, fuck. Now it's just me. Let's go down. Now, this Gragas is gonna come out. You're gonna let the minion waves meet. And then you're just gonna- This is by far King's great- Oh, yeah, dude. is changing minions, huh? I'm not missing shit by not buying Nisa's Patreon. Fuck you, bro. Don't buy that shit. Let me quit simping over these fucking content creators and buying their fucking whack shit, bro. I love these fucking snake oil videos, too. The number one thing every player does wrong. Bro, how many of those videos are you going to make with the same title?
Sorry, I'm just looking for a... Um. Yeah, I'm just like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tired of my games going like shit, dude. I play, I can, it doesn't matter. I play like shit, the game goes shit. I play amazing, the game goes shit. You can just, you can just count on it, bro. It's either, it's either your hard carry to try to win or your hard carry and then someone throws, bro. Like what? What? <laughs> like what? And even whenever, like, and if I duo with somebody, Bro, we're not winning games unless you're fucking diamond, bro. <laughs> like that's just like we're just not gonna win games unless you're fucking diamond, bro. I, I don't know, and even still, bro, and even still, I was climbing with my diamond buddy, and we couldn't get into gold, bro. It's like the game punishes you. For being bad, and then the game punishes you for being good. I don't really get it. So what's the incentive, man? Like, what's the incentive to be good? What what is the like? What is the incentive? Why why do I want to come here and spend my effort in your games, bro? Why do I want to come spend maximum effort in your game if you're just gonna punish players for being good? There's a reason why your player base is leaving and the ones that are staying are just toxic, bro. Because your game is fucking shit.
They'll be here in five. We ready? There's a.
Destiny? Uh, nah, man. I'm not playing Destiny. I'm not playing that. I don't want to play that shit. back.
I'm not having fun. I'm not having fun. I'm not. Re oh, who's coming to get you? Okay. Alrighty, right now? Okay, thanks for letting me know. That sounds fun. Oh, France. Legends France. Um.
So I'm looking for a dual partner, guys. It's mythic. Uh, okay, all right. That's awesome. Uh, hello. Let's uh, fucking do this. Let's do it, bro. Thanks, Matt, for hitting me up. It's the first time I've done an a done an LFG or a, a looking for a duo. I was like, you know what, man? I heard about this. My one boy, he and he was climbing. He met somebody and they were climbing for days. Like, I'm about to do that, man. That sounds. Yeah. I will tell you though, there is some uh, some strange people you meet on there. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'm a little weird too, man. I just, I mean, I try not to be rude, you know, to my teammates anyway. But um, but I mean, whatever, dude. I mean, I just like playing video games and smoking weed, man. <laughs> Same. Sweet. I'm getting MF out of here. Fucking hate misfortune lately. Oh yeah, dude. The she easiest pentakill, man. You just uh, uh, press an R in the narrow part of the jungle, dude. Pentakill. Sure. Uh, like for real, I've met so many people from that shit where like you'll join a voice chat, you'll be in queue with them and like I don't know how they like talk or like how they are. They'll like just come off really weird or whatever and you're just like, okay, yeah, I'm not sitting in here for the 30 minute match. <laughs> so you just like gotta get out. <laughs> <laughs> We're just awkward. <laughs> you're just yeah. a taxi with somebody you don't like. <laughs> You're just trying to like jump out the window at that point. <laughs> when Andrew Tate figures out his pilot's open, the fuck, it just opens the door. <laughs> Gone. That's funny, bro. Oh, bro, it's just. Yeah, like, I was just queued with this guy, and he was just talking about some weird shit. Like, he was talking about how. Like, I brought up how the queue time was like almost six minutes long. And he's trying to tell me that supposedly why it's that long is because there's all the children online because they all got out of school. And trying to like 
I don't know. He was like talking about children and some weird shit. So I was like, one, that doesn't make sense because if there's more people online, wouldn't you get a queue faster? And then he goes, no, nah, no, nah. they're like settling down and doing all this because you know what kids do and stuff when they get home. And like, you just I was like really creepy and weird how he's talking. So I was just like, yeah, nah, I'm not playing a match with this guy. <laughs> and I'm like, nah. <laughs> Fair enough. Shit. Oh, dude, I think they're all AD besides Milio. Damn. She can't even be in rank right now, Milio, like pro league wise. Oh, yeah. I feel Her that. You, me. The only two perma bans. Are they, they just, what, they just break pro play? Or just like break pro Yeah, stop? they don't let them in pro play right now. Yumi, Riot thinks, like, Yumi's just way, way too, like, overbalanced. Like, she's just too good. Yeah, I mean, that's, like, that's putting the game on easy mode. Just locking Yumi, bro. Like, yeah, and up. they don't know how she, uh, Milo would, like, affect, or, like, if they would damage how pro and, like, comp play is, like, in the high, like, tournaments and shit, so they don't let people play her. Gotcha. My queen. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, it's not like they don't have choices, though. I mean, you have like a. You know, you have choices. Yeah, but they're never gonna learn if she is broken or not in pro play. Ooh, that's true. By doing that's it true. like that, like they could get beta testers and just be like, "Hey, we'll pay you extra. You do a five v five custom." Like skirmish. You know? Yeah, some kind of like skirmish. Yeah. yeah, man, that makes sense, right? It's not like an actual tourney. We just want to see how it goes. Oz you both can like have Milo or whatever. We want to see the enemy team and then your team have it and see how it works. You know, Th that's not, that's smart, man. That's smart. I, I like. Yeah. That. Right. Devs are a little bit silly, though. So who knows? Like, you got to think, man, Kraken Slayer ain't even a mythic anymore. <laughs> They're changing that shit, supposedly. <coughs> and I can't believe it. Yeah, I saw that, dude. I saw, like, uh, IE will be a mythic. <coughs> I like the idea of more mythics, because I feel like the build paths are so rigid, you know? And it, it almost predictable. So, I feel like the game won't be as stale, I guess. Nah, I get what you mean. There's days when I like play two, three matches, and it feels like I played like the same exact match on repeat, just with like people with the same different handle. I mean, Absolutely. but it's just like feels exactly the same. It's just like they just run the same comp, you know, hook meta or whatever meta with a broken like a eye. Factory, right? Yeah, almost like a and, factory. yeah. And then it just gets tiring. You just don't have the taste of playing the game because you know what's going to happen. You know it's just the same yep. shit. Yep. Oh, yeah. That, that's whenever I'm bored, bro. I'm like, I'm bored at that point. And uh, yeah. but I will say, like, like, I wish I could build Deathblade on Viego more often, man. I think that would be so fun to have that option. That sounds fun. But it's like I'll become a liability because I'm not building optimal like everybody else is, you know? Yeah. At least that's how it feels to me, man. Anyway, I'm just speaking my mind, dude. I really don't have anything solid to, like, base that off of. Uh, bu -bu -bu. Yeah, this is trying to snipe her balls. Nice. Oh, uh, very nice. Alright, I'm gonna go gank top. Get a five camp. Top scuttle. As I see Nasus is gonna need to get bailed out. I am holy My feather king. Got her! Death will not rest until I am whole once more. I'm gonna place some vision on their side of the river. Kane's low in his jungle. Which side? Which side? Bottom? Top? Damn. I haven't seen him on the bottom. Be, so. Must be on the bottom side. I don't see him up here. 
This Kled actually says something productive in chat. Uh, what the hell? This is the best game I've played all day. Uh oh, uh oh. I'm gonna die! I'm really Run! <laughs> <laughs> I got sniped and it crit me. That shit hurt. <laughs> cleanse, huh? Yep. Is there oh. with cleanse? I don't normally see cleanse. The Shadow Isles are just the beginning. Check out <laughs> his red. Oh, fuck. This is his gang gang. Alright, his bot side is not up. Ah, uh, it's warded. Hit by a bomb. I don't know. See, this is why I'm stuck. Because I want to do this dragon. I want to do something aggressive here. Yeah, we got vision on. Yeah, so. Fuck. He's level 6, but I do have pot and flash. Sensory overload, man. I, mean, I, I was afraid of dying. <laughs> Alright, level five. Oh, we can do dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna start it. Pull it out. Fucking Scooby Doo cartoon. Uh, damn. I can't believe I missed that dragon, dude. I'm like spamming my. It's how embarrassing. Now I can bet. Burrito. Shut down. Oh, I'll pop a cled. 
R.I.P. Papa Clyde. Oh man, my auction has red. Is that my red buff? Is he taking what my is red buff? No, I think Kled killed the game. Yeah, so. He got it back. Okay, yeah. I was they were just, just trading it around, yeah. Throwing it around the score gets bored. Because I was going to say to Dan, was Kane's fucking Korean challenger then, bro? If he, that was my red egg that passed him. Oh, you think you could play in League of Legends? <laughs> Kane's like, no, no, no. <laughs> I am League of Master. Just looking at me, you have to pay me. I am a very good league master. I want precious. Oh, I get all of these. Yeah, good job, Leona. If I could give you a big old kiss, I would. <laughs> yeah, she's cute. Yeah, even though all Zayas. For this skin, I don't know, she just talks about making out with Khan. It's really weird. <laughs> yeah, they're in love. I, I like playing those characters, man, when I play with my girlfriend anyway. Yeah, but obviously you have the guy play Zaya and the girl play Khan. It's true, I'm better at ADC. Yeah. <laughs> She's better at support than I am. <laughs> That's just how it goes, everybody knows that. That's just that. It's always the boy that's playing Zaya, and it's always the girl playing her god. It's just sad. It's like, sadly, just so how it's been for a while. Glenn well, lived with 27 HP on his regular body. <laughs> oh Damn. my god, bro. I need to clip that. What's going on, bro? Are, are, you, are you a Smurf? Are you a Smurf? Giga Chad, dude? Because you're helping me win this game so easy right now. I just feel like this game I'm is just chilling. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I took like two eight-game loss streaks in two days, man. Like, I don't know what the hell. Yeah, if I get like two like L's, like back to back, I usually just call it, and then oh, I'll switch okay. games. Oh, really? Nah, I just switch games, then I'll come back later. Okay. I, um, have really bad CUs, and I'm in a state where you can get fired for having, like, medical problems, so I'm already on disability for being, like, really young. Because my neurologist, like, rushed me on that shit, because she thought it would be a great choice. Because at the time, I did recently lose a job because I had a seizure, so it was kind of dumb. And then she just recommended it, suggested it to like whatever the fucking people are, and they put me on it with the like two months. So I gave you a heal. And that's a heavy root. And I'm dead. Avenge me. Who killed you? Uh, Archon. So you already avenged me. I thought Israel killed me with his art. Yeah, because if Israel killed you, I could kill. I took over Auction's body, and then I could kill Israel as Auction and revive you. Oh, uh, don't worry, Clint's gonna kill them all. Fuck yeah. He's gonna show them the real meaning of pain. Come on, Leona, get in there. Oh, she missed. You have to get the Ez, don't you? Just do it! <laughs> you can do anything. Just do it! If, like, my W wasn't for attack speed, speed. Oh, he's actually murdering them. <laughs> Oi! Oh, he just rizzed them all. And I don't have my W. Oh, that's not down. good. Oh, that's bad. I just used my E to help him with that, whatever. Double or whatever he just got. Little bitch. It was a triple. Yeah. I should have kept it. He would have been fine, so got it. <laughs> hey man, let's try. It was fun. Sometimes, you know, oh, they gotta do cool stuff too. Okay, here comes Cam. 
I don't know, Zaya ain't my main, I just like playing her. I don't think she's funny. She, like, kind of like big brain tricks people. Like with her little fe feather pellets. <laughs> people always like forget about them and then getting like, while they chase you, you just root them, punish them, yeah, and then they like, become the bait. She's like anti-dive. Yeah, and people never really see you coming because they're silly. Oh my god. Yeah, that is fun. I was gonna go help and <laughs> they all looked at me for a sec. Arc shots down here too. Nice. Holy shit! I just got hit with one fucking rain shot for that much. Somebody fucking die! He's <laughs> trying to sexually poke me. I'm being sexually assaulted. Someone call the Pope. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna say nothing. <laughs> nah, it's the Pope now, bro. <laughs> pope needs to save my ass. P fucking holy water on me after baptizing. Dude, Essence Reaver on Ezreal is broken. God damn. Yeah, and that's been like that for a long time. Who knows if they'll ever change it? They probably won't. Essence Reaver on Draven, now that's AIDS. That makes me wanna, like, fucking Mr. Clean just to see if he'll make me naturally mold. <laughs> An enemy ah! <laughs> wow, King can bully. He just wants to kill by uh Yeah, I help. <laughs> oh, the dragon one. Very helpful. Yeah. There's the fucking pinky stinky in there. <laughs> hey, if I'm keeping too distracted this entire time, I'm not. I gotta say, I'm pretty good. Zaya's pretty good at clearing waves. I kinda just want some time staying down here. Yeah, now even Kane's gone. <laughs> Oh no she didn't, Milo's still here. Oh now Kane's down here. Cool. I have a lot of people down here. Shit. He was just, I don't know. He was just up by me, that's nuts. I'm sorry bro. Yeah, he's like one, but I don't know where. He's just that's gonna heal through the walls. <sighs> Now he's back at mid. Yo, he's fast, dude. Yeah, and now he's going to his chickens. What the fuck is he doing? Wait, what mobility the fuck? He bought, mo he bought mobility <laughs> boots. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, he's fast <laughs> as fuck, boy. Damn, boy, he should have just bought Swifties. <laughs> <laughs> like, goddamn. He's going places with that mindset. <laughs> Oh, what viewer? Oh, what you gonna do? If you are, I just had to dance off in the jungle. It's pretty nice. Oh no! Yeah. 
just one of the tower. I think I was too greedy there. And overextended like a rookie. Don't got a spare battery pack? What a rookie. <laughs> a rookie move. Nice. Yo, yeah, 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 I chopped him off. I turned him into spaghetti sauce. <laughs> oh no, he says. He's nasty. Q, bro, you should use your Q. Aw, that's lost. Nasty sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but just his abilities and those boots, damn, <laughs> might be tough. Oh, Leona caught up. Yeah, I boost, I speed boost to do. As Milio. Ah, she almost won. That, oh, oh, man. I'm just get towers. Yeah. Trained as Melio and healed up. <laughs> then I opened him. Yep. <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Zombies, 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 get the swifties, he's on me! Ah, you good! Oh, I tricked him. <laughs> you gotta get away, trust me. I can't believe I got away. He could've just, if he picked right instead of left, I was dead. Everything was on cooldown. <laughs> and I don't have enough items. I believe you're surviving.
my teammates. <laughs> oh shit! Yo, how do pe how do players do that, man? They just they just know they're gonna get that kill. I, I feel like it's always a coin flip whenever I actually try to fight. Oh, uh, you're gonna die. There's like four on him now. Not with Baron so buff. Fast. Yeah, it's not worth it, I think. I'm gonna go get my quick blades. Oh, nice. Power spike. Yep. Yeah, that's like another reason, though, Clint, why we shouldn't, like, kill ourselves. <laughs> yeah, I think he just felt big. <laughs> Oh, oh shit. damn, oh, I'm no. dead. Oh, damn, he's right there too. Leona is debating if she wants to poke him. But he ran up and gone away. Yeah, he's in the fucking way. I've seen this thing though on YouTube. That's like if you have hiccups, like the best remedy or like way to help get rid of it is like imagine you're a fish and you're trying to breathe. <laughs> yeah, imagine you're a fish and you're trying to breathe through your gills. I like swallow at the same time as the hiccup and then it stops me from hiccuping, like continuing the hiccup. Beat that ass, it works. But only a little bit, only once, not all the time. So it works here and there. Oh, really? That's cool. I want, I could have wanted to be one to Kane, but the damn Fiora was there. I got Kane beat. I know I can one v one him. Oh, nice. Uh oh. Damn. He's the dead, she has dashes and I don't. <coughs> oh, oh she got withered and her dash still fucking so fast. Ooh. My bomb. I really bump bump bomb. Damn. I tried about the and it worked. I it. Got kids bopped. you while Max is at bottom. And it didn't work for Merch on or fewer. Damn. Oh, uh, the 
Ba, ba, ba. J to the J's. GG, man. Thanks for the game. That was awesome. Smoke a J. <laughs> I gotta give that credit, honestly. Yeah, man. That credit did really good. Never really seen Clint scary. Yeah, man. He did fucking really well. <laughs> yeah, he was 1k under you. Oh, what are they trying to have me go? Oh, wow, yeah. Okay. I didn't. Wow. Oh, shit. I went 14 4. I was just in the zone, bro. So, what is in this shit? The new battle pass thing. Oh, so Yas is the prestige. Oh, okay. Huh. Oh yeah, the new the new battle pass. Yeah, I was giving it a little lurksy. Looks a little funny to me. It just doesn't make sense to me. It would take six minutes to find a game in bronze. But it'd be like, it just is what it is. Uh, you want last pick? You want counter pick? What? Would you like last pick? Uh, I don't care. Really... Uh, I'll let Ben take it, Ben can counter. Of the dark. Good bands, good bands. Pick ain't bad. Team at the top. <clears throat> Gross. 
Another Kane, huh? Timo into Olaf. Oh, damn. Olaf's gonna fuck him up, bro. Pasta Fuego. What's with all the canes? Right? <laughs> Yay. Dark Harvest. He's gay. He doesn't know how to admit it. <laughs> and so he plays Kane on League of Legends. <laughs> you know, I like Kane as well. Oh, <laughs> uh, damn, bro. <laughs> I think you might be gay. <laughs> no. <laughs> Check out that Kaisa's name, bro. Dick and Vag. <laughs> that is a good name. And, his, I'm him, and he is duo. And I am porting him. Oh, their whole team is cute, pretty much. Besides Olaf. And Olaf hasn't won a game with Olaf yet. Oh, man. He's smurfing. 12, Kane, 12 wins, 50%. 7 losses. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, Kane's gaming, bro. Zoe's poo poo, though. She only so, has 33, yeah. so she's only won like two of her games, bro. Yeah. Kaisa's uh, gonna kick my ass. She's won six out of ten of her games. Oh, really? I just think overall, it looks like she's kind of bad. Uh, Brand's, Brand's average. Game. Brand, he half. Brand's tough, though. He just, the champion just does my so life. much damage. She can just be bad with him. Still does damage. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put Vision down over on this side real quick. Do it. Just do it. To Just like my shoes it. say. <laughs> Just my do it! <laughs> Every step, it's a guy screaming at me when I wear my pair of Nike Air Jordans. <laughs> Just do it! What's he doing? He just wants to put vision down. Oh my god. I'm coming no with vision. Scanner. You know how vision. I remember her yeah, shoot the little bees at him. Show him, show him true meaning of pain. Ah, oh, they're coming around to the side. Oh yeah, they all. Oh. oh no, Brand's down here. Ah. Someone call the Pope! No one called the Pope. <laughs> the Pope was supposed to smite my enemy. <laughs> hey, wait. Did Yumi steal my first blood? What a bitch! Oh, she did! Oh, no! Why would you do that as a fucking cat? <laughs> Dumb cat, bro. She's a dumb cat. This is why people in low elos hate the human players. In every aspect, because you really can never trust it. So spoopy, bro. Uh, 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 good brand beat. W. Uh, oh, go on him. Why are you on me? Come on, heal me. <laughs> no, I don't have my heal. <laughs> no, the Yumi. Oh, wait, she doesn't have a heal anymore, huh? It's a, sh it's a shield now, huh? Should have jumped on you and healed you. That's what I was trying to apply, but she jumped on me instead. Yeah. 
What the fuck? I walked out of that motherfucker with 17 HP, bro. That shit was crazy. Well, at least he used his ignite, I guess. Mirror matches back in the day. In a world Damn, bro. Death means nothing. Killed so. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, nice. <clears throat> nice footwork. But chicken legs. Hey, I got chicken legs. <laughs> Kind of weird. Know, like, <laughs> yeah, a little rooster. <laughs> Her knees bend backwards. What the fuck? Yeah, I'm like an ostrich. <laughs> Get him. Show him pain. You didn't show him pain. And now I'm dead. Somehow she just getting crit left and right with people with zero crit chance. That's awesome. <sighs> I just had 160 health and you tell me a basic did that much. Okay. <coughs> Love it. I go for dragon. Yeah. It is fire, fire there. Yeah, it would be nice, right? I'm on my way there now. Was, I'm not killing a cannon. A and I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I cleared my cannon wave. I'm on my way. Oh, shit. I have a big board. I got eyes all over this motherfucker. And I hate it because Kane can just come over the wall and steal it. Alright, we swipe fight. I have to pay attention to Yeah, just like last minute. No, was the Who was that? Oh, Zoe. Zoe. What skin was that? Is that her base skin? That's her cypher pop. Uh. Oh, here comes Kane. Kane's coming to tickle you. I had literally half a second come up on my recall when you ran by. But the kitty cat's there to help. The kitty cat is gonna die. Even would be impressed. I can't run any faster than this kitty Damn. cat. That's too bad. Damn. 
kill him, bro. Just auto, dog. That's it. That's all you got. I'm dead. I died to Zoe. Oh, and Kitty Cat didn't hit her. Oh Kate's my god, gone. I can't believe that shit, dude. Uh, there's a That was a hard shit, just ult, he's just like... And I'm dead. Around. Oh! Oh, that just 406 hit me, that's awesome. I have 1,056 out. Where's Mouse awesome, on bro? Awesome, I don't know. He fucking, he's gone, bro. He's snorting a line of fentanyl. Gross. Um, I don't know what he's doing, but he literally walked away from jungle like at least a minute ago and just said fuck you guys even though we have five fucking vision boards. See everything in jungle just fine. And he's just no 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 You have got to be fucking kidding me! Where is Malzahar? You have been slain. I don't think this Malzar is aware. Holy shit! Holy shit! You have a monitor? <laughs> That's a safe. silly question. He says play He's safe. He's not playing safe, he's playing like an AI. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking Malzahar GPT over here. Me, Primal Ward, Malzahar! <laughs> oh Primal Ward, why is that me stand still? <laughs> he's like T Bo, man. He just stands still and he's a ward. <laughs> Primal Ward, long time. Inside my ball, can't try to go inside of me. I'm not a fan. Kind of just using them as test dummies. <laughs> I'm just letting her permanently poke Brand to death with her shot, <laughs> and it's really funny. <laughs> Pop this right now. I did not have stuff. Oh, you poked him again. Good job. He's done. Mouse is done. Mouse are. Flames on this. An enemy has been slain. What is your race? But the ravenous. I love it. It hurts my heart. It hurts so much. Sorry about Timo. Sorry, man. Um, I'm just fucking can't get ahead now, dude. I'm getting shitted on. Death 
say that. Oh, on ramp, kind of sucks. I think Yumi. that Yumi is trolling. Bye. Guys, uh, stop bullying me. Dude, they're gonna try to go into tower right now. I am already. I have old. But I don't know where Kane is at. He could probably just come and counter game. He flashed, bro. That a flash, bro. Oh shit. Exhausted. Oh shit. You beat that of mana. You've got to be fucking kidding me, bro. An enemy has been slain. <laughs> been just been last slain. second. Shit, no mana. Hey, man. Don't you worry. Malzar killed Zoe, okay? Finally. His first kill in 15 minutes. Oh, <laughs> Malzahar. Okay, at least Malzahar can push a wave though, man. Shit. Come on now. Now they got the wrist. Now she puts the shield on? Oh my lord. Now she rubs the lotion on the skin. <laughs> About time! So there's nothing else under tower and he's your bid and the tower only shoots him once. So yeah, I don't just believe that. Okay. <laughs> I get shot under it like a bid, punished under a tower. I get fucking RIP, bro. I'm getting really aggravated, but that was her flash. And Yumi really likes getting the kills, even though I don't know why. It's really confusing. Yeah, she's like trolling. I know she's over here getting mad about stuff, but she's over here making sure she gets the last hit for kill. Which is just really silly. But, okay. Watch her kill this cane, uh. But I got the dragon. Enemy double kill. <sighs> Your turret has been Damn. destroyed. An enemy is legendary. <laughs> Careful. 
can get a jump key. Fucking mobilities on too? Is that the new fucking thing? <laughs> oh no, he's got Ionians. But he's got a Yamas. He's playing with the new style. Oh, suck him! He's sucking him! <laughs> that was hard to suck them dry, dude. Somebody's down here. I think it's Kane right Kane. here. Shot him. This She has to go mid. I have to drop this rift in a minute. Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't know if I can do the right thing, but I'm trying. I can give up Drake for a tower. Room. 
say Timo got her super low and her po his poison legit put her on exactly like one HP. They're probably recalling in that bush all the way up. But it's probably time has gone by now, so it's definitely been eight seconds. Yeah, Kaisen's already back in mid. I'm just gonna break bottom tower. Shoot over here, Tom. Not really, I guess we don't really have a tank. We don't have any tanks. No, we're all pretty squishy, huh? Yeah, we don't really have it. The black mist flows from the At times, the ally has been slain. Damn. Your team has destroyed a terror. Brand all yuck. And now you are the brand. <laughs> That's literally my angle though in a nutshell. Time he takes a person. Ah. Bitch. Kidnaps them all. Offs and whack central over there. Your turret has been destroyed. They could kill a lot, probably like if no one dies, we'd probably just go all on those rush pair. That's if uh, we can yeah, catch up to him. <laughs> We have to do something about Olaf here, or he'll take that tower. Yeah, it's drilling top down. Tower's a bit more valuable than fucking. Anything Towards you, coming towards you. Nice. Let's go, yeah, let's go Baron. Let's go get the Baroni. Uh, 
someone's pinging mid. I don't know who's. Probably Malzahar. Malzahar. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it's Mal. He loves going mid lane. Nice, I have 3,000 gold. Fuck yeah, I almost have me done. Oh, I need 20 gold and I get my black cleaver. And then, what should I... Build up to that GA, maybe. Nah, I believe the Rune King, it's more fun. Hate me if you must, until she returns to my arms. All will be brought to space. Oh, You go for Baron buff, kiddo. That shit just wiped him that damage scale. Whee! Oh no. Tower too. Kane's from the back. Oh shit, gotta go top. Okay. Blinded. Blinded oh. by the light. <laughs> Out of the light. And now you guys push top. Nasty. Pull off somewhere around here. Yeah. Nasty. You guys could probably end if you just group. Yep. You're right. I'm rushing down through mid. Keep the minions pushed while you guys are doing that. If you guys don't end by the time I get there. By the time I get there, I should definitely end. I'm ending. Yeah. Of course they didn't even see that going on with their fucking cares. They saw they're like, nah, he got it. And they destroyed him. <laughs> <laughs> they were just kind of watching me work. That was kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just back there <laughs> going through the fucking dates. <laughs> Yo, that was a good game, man. Oh, Fuck yeah. Shit. That was funny. That was definitely a funny match. Oh, fuck. <laughs> he really wanted that, that game. And then he just on the <laughs> like <laughs> shit. <laughs> and with Kai's, I mean, fucking Zaya, she gets that ability to, like, refresh once you start getting more of your buys and she's just dirty. Oh yeah. And the attacks the Navori quick blades too where you get the crit. <laughs> yeah. The yeah man. And then just pull it all back in. Yeah dude. It's nasty. Gnarly.
Um, uh, I'm gonna take a smoke break for like five minutes. No. I don't smoke weed in my room because I have a two year old, so I don't make she sleeps in here and no secondhand smoke, you know. Okay, man, fair enough, my man. So if you don't mind waiting, oh, then I'll be back so we can keep queuing for a couple more. Okay. Right. Yeah, man. I'll be back then. Give me All like right. five ish minutes. Alright, yep, same here, man. Cool. Good vibes, dude. What a cool guy. So let me see here. So, so the Ink Shadow Pass are an ultimate Amazon Ink Shadow tokens to resume for exclusive events. Comes with the premium Ink Shadow Yasuo bundle. The Ink Shadow Yasuo bundle includes Yasuo, the Ink Shadow Yasuo exclusive Ink Shadow order an icon, a chroma, and a moat. Last day to earn tokens with. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, wow, so the money goes to the teams, huh? Hmm. They're already millionaires. What the fuck they needed us to give them more money for? <laughs> now, what's the difference here between the premium? Oh, you get the chroma. Okay. What is a thousand RP in dollars? <laughs> Not rupees. <laughs> okay, so like 25 bucks for the battle pass. Right? So 30... You're looking at like $30 for the, dirt, for the battle pass. I want to get it. I want to get this battle pass. <sighs> Bro, that's what's up, John. John's been winning seven straight in a row. That's what's up, man. That is awesome, dude. Dude, hell yeah, John. You're tough, man. Keep it up. Nice. Silver 2. I'm still on bronze 1. <laughs> Alright. Oh, wow. The time. Might have to take a break. I don't know what it was about my mentality earlier. I just, I even tried to shake it off, man, but it just felt, honestly, I felt prickly. Like my mind was prickly and I was just like, and my eyes were like, just kind of darting, like, whoosh, like whiplashing at whatever. Something irritated me. And just, I would just snap at it. I don't know. I don't understand that, how to get up, how to shake that off or how to use it. Or not just shake it, or if I can't shake it off, use it as an advantage somehow. I'm not sure.
<laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Fix that account. That's what I want to do with this account, man. I would love to get this account. <sighs> no, but maybe I can't fucking fix it because I'm just trash. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trash. <laughs> I'm back. Hmm. Yes, I said. Sorry. 
Ah, bye.